What up, y'all? Mr. Nomic coming at you. Oh, man. I We're going to do a quick video about Thuggy, which originated from Indian death cults. Thugs worship Kali, man. That's where it started from. I, I, I'm going to try to do this again. I went on a good 15-minute rant, and my god dang mic wasn't connected. Oh, my gosh. I'm so pissed, man. Oh, that hurt, bro. That hurt, man. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm gonna try to do it again. But this, this, yeah, the th the thuggy, bro. This started from India, man, and and it started from demonic Kali worship. That's how th that's where that's where it originated from. Is it a wonder? Why are things a cesspool? People who glorify it, especially in the community. We glorify our thugs, right? Oh, y'all love y'all thugs, man. Look, got the thug life tatted on my chest. Let's see how this stemmed from, and I'll, and oh my god, I'll, I'll try to, I don't know if I'm, we'll, we'll see what happens, let's go. I was haunted by murderous religious extremists. They would wander the long roads and prey upon travellers for robbery and murder. For some it was just robbery, but for others, it was an active devotion to a goddess they called the Black Mother, Kali. Today we will learn about the thuggy, their beliefs, and how this murderous band were finally crushed. This is Knowledge Voyage. Devotion to Kali, that's where it started from. Demonic Worship, man. Blood in, blood out. Y'all love y'all thugs. And it's not just in the hoods, man. It's all these 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 gangs, these thugs, man. It's this the triad, the freaking Russian mafia, the Nazis, the bikers, the MS-13. It's all demonic. Blood in, blood out. And you look at the tats on a lot of these guys, man. Demonic. Skulls. Pentagram. 666. I was looking at some of the MS, those MS-13 guys. The Baphomet and all that stuff, man. This is where it stems from. This is where it stems. Is it, isn't it a wonder why everything's such a low vibration? And like I said, the women flock to guys like that, like a moth to a flame. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, bro. But yeah, this is where it stems from. I didn't know that. Some of y'all may have known this already. I didn't. This band were finally crushed. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget the bell so that you our weekly videos about history. Thank you. In the 1830s, a British official in India received a disturbing report. Over 100 human skulls had been found in a well in the town of Etwa. This looked suspiciously like the work of India's feared religious killers, the Thuggy. The English word thug gets its name from the Thuggy of India. This is where it stems from. Death, bro. Death. See, playing around with words, bro. I think Coach did a video. You know, a lot of Americans, myself included, were ignorant to a lot of words that we use. A lot of stuff stems from... Things that we don't even have any idea. Like I said, Jim, I think he said Jim is Greek for like things like nudity and things like that, man. That's, that's a lot of words we use, man, that have meanings to it that we're completely ignorant to. But yeah, this is where it stems from, right there. And the word thug comes from the Sanskrit thaga, meaning to conceal or hide, a reference to the thieves' secretive, deceptive nature. These were thieves. Secretive, deceptive nature, low vibration, these low vibration dive bars and all this stuff, man prostitution and all this low vibration energy the women that y'all worship so much with the tats all over the place who messes around with these low vibration guys no hey they, they, they just, after them dudes be chewing you up and spit you out don't they like, leave the decent dudes alone like i said again these now these women nowadays tats on the, the the chest and the neck and stuff you can tell when they be dabbling with these low vibration demons man thieves who robbed yeah, travelers wake and up, ritually man. murdered them as part of the worship of the hindu goddess kali Kali, goddess of the Hindu cremation grounds, is often portrayed in a fearsome way, adding to the fear her followers inspired. They refer to her as the Black Mother, or Mother Kali, or Kali Ma. According to tradition, the thugs would kill travellers and leave their bodies for Kali to devour. The thug gangs would use initiation ceremonies where ritual foods were offered to Kali. And yep, just like, just no different than that, blood in, blood out. They all got the little rituals they do. A lot of times you gotta kill somebody to get in. This is, this is, this is where it stems from. Demonic worship, selling them so selling their souls, man. Then the thugs would strike. The thugs believed the shovel they used to dig graves would sometimes come to life and point the way to their next killing. The thugs also exclusively used strangulation to kill their victims, hmm. partly due to a Hindu fear of contamination by shedding blood, and partly because local Indian laws technically only considered murder by the shedding of blood as a capital offence. Thug gangs would travel in large groups, often befriending travellers on the road to learn where they were from and the thugs had ruthless tactics. They would only attack people far from their home state, as they knew such people would not be missed for some time, and so would not initially arouse alarm if they didn't return home. By the time the alarm was raised, the thugs would be long gone, 
having made a killing to Kali. Hmm. Thugs also initially avoided killing the elderly, women or disabled. But this became harder, as the thug gangs greatly feared leaving members of travelling parties alive who might identify them later. Hmm. To get around this, lower ranking thug gang members were tasked with killing the people who fell into taboo categories to spare the gang leaders religious defilement. The thugs were running riot in the early 1800s. The British conquest of India had disrupted the local economy and eliminated local warlords who had previously patrolled roads. There was also jurisdictional issues, as thugs zigzagged in and out of territory controlled by the British East India Company to avoid detection and prevent British authorities from following them into native states. But one British officer decided it was time to crush the thugs, and his name was William Sleeman. Sleeman had a deep love for the culture and people of India. He studied several Indian languages to fluency, so he could hold conversations with ordinary Indians to find out their problems, and one of the main ones was the thugs. The local Indians told Sleeman they feared reporting thug murders, as it attracted native police who were famously oafish and corrupt. <laughs> Sleeman believed... <laughs> corrupt officers, nothing new under the sun, man. This is all a repeat, bro. It's all a repeat. Corrupt officials, nothing new under the sun, man. It's, still, it's all a repeat. That's why I say humans, man. This this not doing anything special, man. If the thugs could and should be defeated, and Sleeman set to work. He began by ordering East India Company troops to seize any suspected thugs on the road. Once this was done, they were threatened unless they offered information. And with this information, Sleeman could build up an intelligence. They were threatened unless they offer information. Just like now, getting caught up life sentences and stuff, trying to, they'll dime out their, their fellow brothers to get lighter sentences or say they own skin. Nothing new under the sun. This picture of the thug gangs. He then plotted the home villages of captured thugs on a map and overlaid this map with maps showing thug murder sites. This allowed him to plot two things. Firstly, the home bases of the thugs. And secondly, which roads they hunted on. With this intelligence, he organized anti-thug patrols, who were often handsomely financially rewarded. As time progressed, the thugs began to lose confidence. They were being ruthlessly hunted, their gangs broken up, they constantly feared betrayal by other gang members. Betrayal by other gang members, see? That's what I said, man. It's all every man for himself. Nothing new under the sun. Diamond out their own brothers, right? To get lighter sentences. Man, this is all a repeat, bro and the British authorities mercilessly pursued them. The British also deliberately refused to return captured thugs to home provinces, where they could easily bribe corrupt local judges. <laughs> corrupt local judges, man. Not the news out of the sun, man. Instead, they were exclusively <laughs> detained, charged, and sometimes executed in British jails. The thuggy would sometimes chant hymns of devotion to Kali as they would drop through the gallows trapdoor. As goddess of cremation grounds, the thuggy believed Kali would soon reincarnate them. But whatever <laughs> became of them after hell. death, their ability to harm ordinary Indians was no more. The thugs were being crushed, and to keep this going, the British established the Thuggy Daftar, a specific police office for detecting and punishing thugs that only disbanded in 1947 with India's independence from Britain. Hmm. Some of the evidence Sleeman put together was so detailed it would even secure convictions in a modern court. So ended the threat of the thugs. For centuries, the thugs had killed around 40,000 people a year, Damn. but the British authorities had crushed them although they may have been immortalized in movies such as Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I remember that. The word thug has also entered the language, meaning violent gang behavior. And whilst the thuggy of India are gone, they remain one of the most notorious and feared gangs of all time. Yep, right there, man. That's where it stems from. To look at the thug life tattered on my chest, have fun in hell. Yep, that's where it stems from, selling your souls. And y'all trying to be like these guys. Again, y'all trying to sell y'all souls, be like the guys. They got some pussy. We already know the women flock to low vibration dudes like this, like a moth to a flame. We already know female nature. Is it all? No, but a lot of them do, especially in the community. And you dudes trying to sell y'all souls to get these women. How's that working out for most of y'all? Trying to be something. Some of y'all aren't even about it, man. Like I said, I literally did that video a while back ago. Uh, uh, the baby mama had her baby daddy kill the boyfriend. Boyfriend trying to act like, oh, I'm trying to act like a thug. I'm going I'm to I'm emulate these guys, what I'm seeing on TV and then move music. I'm going to emulate her, splash my money and shit. Then a real low vibration demon takes his ass out who had soul ties with that woman. So I keep telling y'all, bro, y'all be worshiping these women that be, that be messing with these dudes in the muck and mire on the spiritual scale. And I love these women nowadays, man. These, these women, these Gen Zers, these women nowadays, tats all over the necks. And Why do I think they be doing that? Why do y'all think they be doing that? They, they, they're emulating the demonic guys who be banging them. Tats all over the, the, the hands and beast tamps on their chest and neck. Hell, someone getting them on their face. Hey, Y'all be deifying them, man. You can tell these women to be dancing with these guys, man. Have fun. Hey, man, just stay away from the decent guys. But like I said again, if you're getting Twitter paid off their looks and, and that exotic look, that low vibration look, hey, man, that's on you, bro. 
Told you, man, the low vibration dive bars and low vibration areas of prostitutions and all that stuff, man. When be setting y'all up to get robbed and stuff because they they dancing with these guys, bro. Getting you with sex. The sex is good. Oh, yeah, the sex is real good because they mess with low vibration dudes, man. I ain't hating, but hey, man. Hey, y'all keep hey y'all keep playing. That's why I be laughing. You, oh, I'll sleep with a woman like that. Just come away Scott clean. No, you don't. No, you don't on a spiritual scale because if you banging women like that, hey, I told you, man, I tie all this in together. More talking points proven, bro. Like I said, again, the demonic tattoos and stuff, man. Skulls and pentagrams, blood in, blood out. This ain't a game, bro. This ain't a game. Like I said, in our community, we glorify that shit. Y'all love the out thugs because it's all geared towards pussy. It's all geared towards pussy. Y'all selling y'all souls to be like these dudes. I'm going to keep harping on it. This is where it stems from. Thuggy, India. Till I got the thug life tatted on my chest. How, how'd that end for him? Dead, jail, insanity. And like I said again, man, y'all love these women, these tats all over the place and stuff. You can tell now, especially nowadays, man, they, you can tell these women that be banged out by guys like that, man. And that's what I said. I, even, even before, I, I was, I've always been red-pilled, man. I've always been able to sense that energy. I may not have known where it was, but my spirit was always like, hey, man, stay away from certain types, man. Men and women alike. Men and women alike, bro. It's an energy. It's a low-vibration energy. And like I said, blood in, blood out. You got to sell your soul for this, man. That's where it stems from, right there. And like I said, it ain't just in the hoods either. Like I said, you got your triads, you got the Russians, you got the Yakuza, you got the Nazis, the bikers, the cartels, the MS-13s. It's all demonic, bro. It's all demonic. It's a death thing. Death don't give a shit about color. Last time I checked, death doesn't discriminate. It's all geared towards death. And like I said, again, you got the women that flock towards these guys, which I'll be getting jealous of. That ought to tell you about the women. They flock to these guys like a moth to a flame. I saw a video. Uh, I saw some, you know, y'all saw that prison, that white prison guard that got killed because she helped that one inmate out. I saw somebody post a stupid comment talking about she's a ride or die. You women are lost, bro. You women are freaking idiots. And ain't no hate here. Just stay away from the decent dudes, man. After Satan chew your ass up and spit you out, bro. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all dumbasses, bro. But like I said, this is where it stems from, y'all. And like I said, in our community, we glorify this shit. I want to be like him. Tupac has nothing to do with this. He has everything to do with this. And I look at it today. Look at it today. It's even worse now. Your drill music and all that low vibration shit. And like I said, again, the tats and stuff. That's I got my ink, man. I wish I never did do it, man. In my defense, I got mine back in like 99, early 2000 for everybody and mama got them. And I knew when I heard that stupid ass song, tat, tat, tat it up, New York. I said, oh God, the sheep's about to start getting tattoos. And now here we are today. Tats all over the place, on the freaking legs, the shins, the thighs, the, the, the bee stamps on them. I love it. I, I love it, man. I know it's women because I know it's women to avoid. Tats all on the freaking hands and stuff. Why y'all think they be doing that? Why do y'all think they be doing that masculine action? Because they're getting banged out by certain men. I love it. I love when I see women a bunch of tattoos. I know I, I, I know who to avoid. I know who to avoid. But y'all be look, y'all be worshiping them and stuff, man. Hey, how's that gonna end for most of y'all? Man, like I said, bro, it, it is what it is. I just I just had to point that out, man. But it all makes sense now, man. Yep. Like I said again, you see a lot of these dudes the tattoos all over them, the demonic tattoos, and yep, this is where it stems from. Thuggy from India, thug. Bone thugs and harmony and all that. I mean, that makes sense now. I used to sing that. Mr. Ouija, are you with me? That shit makes sense. You can't play around with this shit. Oh, it's just a song. No, it's not. It's a spirit. It's a freaking spirit. But y'all love y'all entertainers because they can put a beat to it and get you to, to bump your feet and bump your head to it. Y'all better wake up out here, man. This Y'all worshiping demonic spirits, bro. Especially, I keep telling y'all, confessing those lyrics and all that shit. You're singing freaking mantras to demons, man. Insert whatever bullshit lyric. Putting out pheromones in the air, bro. And again, like I said, again, y'all love y'all, y'all call girls and all that shit. That's where it stems from. That's why these women be setting y'all up and getting robbed. Sex game on point, isn't it? Get you hooked on that sex. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think Kevin Simmons did a video on that. He was talking to his chat room. Hey, fellas, every woman that was good in the sack, did she bring peace in your life? Unanimous, no. 
This is where it all stems from. It's all demonic, man. Demonic, low vibration energy. A lot of y'all trying to sell y'all souls to be like thugs and rappers and shit. And I, like I said, it got other communities too. I don't give a shit about them. I'm talking about my community. Like so I already listed off all the other gangs, the Russian mobs, the triads, the Yakuza's, the MS-13s, the Nazi bikers. It's all the same shit. Blood in, blood out. And if you go against the narrative, they will kill your ass. You go against the narrative, they will kill you. Blood in, blood out. It's all demonic. And like I said, the women that flock to them, that lets you know about the women. I showed y'all a video a while back. Go that to shot collars, the dirt legs. These women flocking to these guys like a moth to a flame. Get imprinted by them. Then they come out to y'all ass, make y'all pay for dates. And, oh, I don't do that, man. Please. Y'all bet, man. Y'all getting Twitter painted on their looks and stuff. I told y'all, man. Better be wary with them women, them tats all over the place. And again, the B stamps and shit on their chest, man. That just told me that they, they, they sold tasks to the spirits, man. But oh, you know what I know. I'm just an average guy. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. But yeah, I just, what do y'all think about that, man? I had to go on my little rant, man. Like I said, I'm pissed because I, yeah, it was way more passion that first video I did. But yeah, I think I, I think I covered most of my talking points. Yeah. Yep. Y'all want to be like y'all thugs, especially in the community. Y'all wonder why the hoods and all that shit's a low vibration. Because it stems from this. It's all geared towards death. It's a death thing. Last time I checked, death don't give a shit about color. I think I said enough on it, man. Yep. I better be careful out there with y'all thug worship, man. But uh, that's all I got, y'all. Laters.